Hello everyone, this is Levi Sheridan, and today I'm making a video about my structurally integral battery pack I designed for an electric UAV aircraft. I came up with the idea for this aircraft when I made the realization that most electric aircraft are not built in the most optimal way. The way most electric RC aircraft are built is by building up the fuselage, the empennage, attaching the wings and so forth until you have the entire airplane completed, at which point you carve out a cavity and insert a battery like this. This is a very popular 3S battery used in a lot of RC planes. Uh, and it works well if you're only looking to have fun. However, the issue with that is the battery serves no purpose apart from powering the aircraft, and when the battery is dead, it is dead weight. It, it is only hindering the ability for the aircraft to stay in the air and fly. Unlike fuels, where you burn the fuel and lose the weight, batteries weigh the same as they do when you take off as when you land. Uh, and for that reason, I thought it would be extremely beneficial to somehow have the batteries serve more function uh, than just powering the aircraft. And what I've come up with is an entirely different way to build an electric aircraft. And that, that method is basically to build a structurally integral battery pack and then build the aircraft around this battery. So basically, instead of building the aircraft and inserting a battery, you're building the battery and then attaching the things to the battery that make it able to fly, such as the wings and the motor. Uh, so what that would look like specifically for this battery uh, in terms of further development would be to extend the length of these threaded rods that hold it all together. And then on one end, you would attach the, the motor. On the other end, you would put the electronics and you would then install this whole tube system, uh, which houses the motor and electronics and the battery into a tube, which uh, would then be rigidly attached to the structure. The tube would have the wings and the empennage and the tail and everything. And it would all be one uniform structure with the battery integrated into it, which would greatly benefit the, the compactness of the aircraft, the, the weight reduction of the aircraft, as opposed to the way most RC aircraft are currently built, where you build the structure around the, the battery uh, and then insert the battery into it. Uh, basically what this is, you don't need any secondary structure to house the battery. The battery is the structure. You don't need something to go around it. You don't need, uh, you don't need a case for the battery or anything. The battery is one of the most structurally uh, important parts of the entire aircraft. A little bit about how I've built out my battery. Uh, I used 36 INR18650 30Q Samsung batteries in a 6S6P configuration. So there are six individual packs of six batteries in parallel. These six packs are then uh, put in series to produce a 6S6P battery. Uh, each battery has a 15 amp recommended output uh, with, a, 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 I believe, 3.6 volts each. So this whole thing, maximum 90 amp output uh, at 22 volts. Uh, the whole thing is assembled uh, using my spot welder in these thin nickel, uh, nickel strips. As you can see, I have connected all the batteries around uh, the circumference using my spot welder and the nickel strips, and that worked very well. Uh, and then basically each pack is soldered together with a wire in between. The, each individual battery pack is uh, held together with these uh, 3D printed rings. And the rings also serve the function of a vibration dampening mechanism. Uh, which I'll show off in a second exactly how that works and, and what the purpose of these rings are apart from holding the batteries together. Uh, but quickly, I just wanna mention that I have this uh, battery management system. So basically it's a 6S6P battery management system. It's kind of crazy. This is actually the only 6S6P battery management system I could find online for a reasonable price. Uh, I guess most people really don't build these batteries specifically 6S6P battery, but I found this. I have yet to wire it up, uh, but it should work really well. It serves the function of balancing the cells, charging and discharging, overload protection and stuff like that. Apparently uh, that's what it's supposed to do, but like I said, I've yet to test it. Uh, but that's the ESC. These are the cells. They're just 18650 cells. Uh, I wrapped them in capped on tape, but those are the cells, so you can look them up if you want. Uh, they're apparently really great cells, 3,000 milliamp hours each. Uh, yeah, just they, they're, they're made well. Uh, I took some measurements on them, and, and they seem to hold the charge well, discharge well, and, and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so this is the battery. Uh, like I said, the further development of it would look like extending these threaded rods that hold all six packs together. Uh, and then on one end, you would attach a motor to these rods. On the other end, you would have a, a case to hold all the electronics 
And then basically, once you have this tubular system, which holds the battery, the structure of the battery on one end, you have the motor on the other end, you have the electronics. Once you've built out this tube, you then basically would have a, uh, or rather once you've built out the cylinder, you would have a tube, uh, for example, like this, it would probably be carbon fiber. This is just a shipping tube. That's the correct uh, dimension. So that's why I'm using it. Basically you would have this tube. You would then build the wings off of either end of the tube. And once you have the wings and the tail on the tube, you essentially just take the battery pack, the whole unit, there would be a motor on one end, there would be the electronics on the other, and you essentially just slide this whole system into the tube. And now you can probably see uh, the vibration dampening mechanism, how that works. So you would then screw through the wall of the tube into those rings and the batteries would be isolated vibrationally. Uh, one end, like I said, you have the motor coming out with the propeller here on the other end inside of the tube, you would have the electronics and just generally it would be very simple, easy to uh, work with and easy to assemble and, and, and manufacture and, and so forth. Uh, but uh, generally, I think this is probably the best way to go about designing electric planes uh, where you basically design the battery as the main structural component and then build everything else around the battery. And this, like I said, allows you to eliminate a lot of secondary structures that you would typically need to house the battery and to hold everything else together. Uh, it allows you to make a lighter aircraft, a more compact aircraft. And in general, like I said, I think this is probably the way to go if you're designing electric aircraft. Uh, so I, I intend to do something with this eventually. I had to put the whole plane on halt because uh, I was working on it during the beginning of COVID and I was moving from New York to Chicago and I lost my access to a machine shop uh, and, and whatnot. But I hope at some point that I will be able to implement and use this battery. Uh, I actually had designed a, uh, a uh, contra rotating, uh, inline contra rotating motor uh, that would allow me to have two propellers uh, inline contra rotating uh, on one end. Uh, but like I said, I lost my access to the machine shop when I had to move from New York. Uh, and I, uh, I wasn't able to continue working on the project, but I, I have done development on the motor and, and whatnot and research on the electronics. Uh, but this is all I have right now. It's the battery. It's kind of the most important thing for the whole project. It's the idea behind the project. And uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. The whole battery is it's very strong. It handles compression and, and tension very well because of the rods that hold it all together and uh, torsion, torsionally it has a very strong rigidity, uh, which is good because aircraft, they have a lot of uh, torsion induced in them and specifically the fuselage because of uh, any kind of roll movements uh, induced from the, from the wings. Uh, but like I said, this is, this is the battery pack uh, for the airplane. The whole airplane would be built around it. It's definitely a different idea and I think it's a better idea than the way most electric aircraft are built today. I hope you have learned something new. I hope you have found this interesting. Uh, if you're inspired to go build a plane like this, please let me know how it goes. Uh, but uh, thank you for watching. This is Levi Sheridan. Have a nice day.